time for TMZ Good News, Bad News. The good news is Beyonce's back and Dubai's got her, baby. The bad news is Beyonce's back and Dubai's got her, baby. Yeah, it's kind of a whole thing. She is getting blasted. So this was a huge moment for her. She has not been seen on stage in like five years. She did a 90 minute set for $24 million. And people are really upset. The fact that Beyonce decided to perform in Dubai as her like come back to stage moment, where you know the laws over there. Being gay is illegal. You're not allowed to be gay at all. Well, acting on being gay is illegal. <laughs> I mean, an important distinction. But yes, people are wondering why Beyonce, who is known for honoring gay culture, would perform in Dubai. I mean, she's so so smart and savvy. This isn't the first time somebody's been criticized for going to Dubai and performing, so she had to know this was coming. But it's just like, dang, like Beyonce, I don't know what the plan was, but people are upset. Also, did you see her outfits? I love Katie. <laughs> yeah. So much for the controversy. But enough about gay rights, look at this. Anywho, except for the whole performing in a place where people must live in fear of being who they are thing, it was quite a show. Even Blue Ivy got in on the act. I want y'all to help me sing this, okay? But could this be Bay's last performance? Cause singing in Dubai could damage her brand. Her brand will be fine. These things never stick to anybody. They never stick. They don't stick, she'll be fine. Almost certainly, yes. So good luck Queen B, cause people are gonna be mad for a few seconds until they get distracted by something else cause that's just the awful world we live in now.